one-sided against Donald Trump, that it's actually making a lot of people who loathe Donald Trump actually push away from supporting Hillary Clinton. And that's, I know that's, I, I just, I'm hearing it wherever I go, that this race is really, like Mike said, this race is about Hillary Clinton. People are making their choices based on how they feel about Hillary Clinton. And it's almost like they've tuned Donald Trump out. But the press is weighing in so heavily here that I don't know if the coverage actually might have a small effect backfiring, uh, backfiring actually in a way that feeds right into Donald Trump's narrative. There, I mean, listen, there's no doubt that there's this whole election has been a middle finger to all of us, to, to government, to, to big media. I'll take the counter view of what you just said. I don't think this race is remotely close. I think there's a better chance that he ends up losing a place like Missouri or even Texas than there is of him winning the presidency. There's nothing that I've seen in the history of polling that suggests when you have, on average, an eight-point advantage for a candidate and the trend lines going in the direction there are, that this race is close. If I'm Hillary Clinton and I'm sitting on the money that they're sitting on, yeah. I go for the big score because this is a hell of a hard country to govern. And the way to govern and the way to get things done is give yourself a Democratic House, give yourself a Democratic Senate.